It was always my um, dream to open up a restaurant and the dream came about my grandfather uh, in Amritsar where I grew up every night would sit, make me sit on his lap and uh, have his drinks and when he would have his drinks he would tell me at the end of the evening that I wanted to open up a restaurant and so that, that he could be the bartender of this restaurant and the reason behind that was in, technically in India you wouldn't uh, charge your grandfather for alcohol and so he could drink for free if he was a bartender. Vikram is a uh, tremendous individual and he has gained my ultimate compliment as a food writer whenever I say somebody cooks clean it's clean and it's distinct course by course the flavors don't collide like a train wreck they remain distinct and as a result very memorable One of the worst nights I uh, ever had was one of the first days we opened in the restaurant and we were uh, not expecting to be that busy and we were expecting to have few people come into the restaurant. It was the first day we had opened and it became busy and it became busy and I kept looking outside and it got busier and I'm like, holy moly, you know, I was running out of chicken, I was running out of lamb and so what I did was I switched the lights on to everybody uh, and I said, guys, I didn't expect to be this busy. I, I don't know what to do. I don't have enough food left and I don't want to start winging, making chicken curry here and chicken curry there. So you know what? I'll give you plates. Kitchen's making some stuff out. So I told the kitchen to start making some, just some sabji, some just regular vegetables and regular stews and regular chickens. Just make anything that you can make quickly. And I told them, I said, look, I'll give you plates. I don't have exact orders for you. I'm going to turn around. You're already in my house. I'm going to feed you. So I'm going to just do, I'm just going to go around and serve you guys. Whatever we made at that time, I'll have it within half an hour, whatever we could make, we made and we gave it away. And I didn't charge them for it. I said, don't charge, don't give me any money because you didn't get what you want. And I think that went a long way. It was a very stressful night, no question about it. But that went a long way. People, I still have people coming in from that night saying, Remember when you did this, this, and this, and this. Let me just demystify by saying curry is not a spice. Curry is a blend of different spices. So when you say, can you put curry spice in everything? Well, it's, you could, but curry is a blend of cumin, cloves, nutmeg, mace, ginger, onion, garlic. A blend of these things make it curry. I'm using Indian spices from where I came. I'm an Indian. Where do I live? In British Columbia. We have an abundance of seafood. So I use local mussels, local BC sturgeon, and local prawns, and combine that on a dish. So this, this is one dish that kind of represents veggies in essence. That's uh, BC farm sturgeon. For the most part, I will look after the recipes and come up with the food, obviously with a lot of input from Vikram, and then he would come up with it. He loves cooking as well, and so he would come up with his recipes, but pretty much I was sort of doing them. And then, you know, the busier you get to have that quality control, you have to have one person responsible for one thing. When a customer walks in, he takes it very personally. Like, oh, like, you've come. I, I don't, I, it amazes me after 11 years, he still feels this way. His face just lights up as if somebody's come into, I don't know if it's a wedding or something. And um, he's just gotten so comfortable with them and he just quips these vigisms. I, I have no idea where they came from, but he says some weird ass things though. Looks like a penis. 
with the four skin. Get ready to lose your virginity to Indian food. That's one of the minor ones. What's the point of going out for dinner if, if you're not going to have fun at it? They're all Indian flavors, they're all Indian spices that we're using. It's just that the combination of it is a little bit that different. Uh, the fusion would be also because you live here in North America and I'm using those local produce from here. But I do sincerely believe that there's no point getting a frozen fish all the way from India called pomfret just so that you can call it Indian and bring it over here when you've got abundance of local halibut or local BC sturgeon that's available right here. Well, Vikram is changing Canadian culture one curry at a time. I don't have a goal to say, I'm going to change your culture, no, or Canadian culture. I don't have that goal. My goal is to bring the awareness of my cuisine and my culture up so that I'm not just kind of this cuisine that's kind of just tucked under the carpet. I am a serious cuisine. So by just purely doing that, there seems to be a shift that happens. That's natural. And I really, really hope there would be somebody else out there able to take this baton from me and say, you know what, I'm going to run with it now and I'm going to run this race. And he started it, I'll finish it. Off.